what y'all say, man. Every time I listen to Sick and Tired, I swear to God, he goes, Ronnie J. Pussy Nigga. Y'all say it's Ronnie J's Let's Go. Uh, look, y'all can keep it like that. Y'all not going to change my mind. That's just how it is. You know, my rules, my channel. He says Ronnie J. Pussy Nigga. Or he should start saying it. Shit. Because that shit sound fire, you know. Ronnie J. Pussy Nigga. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dev. Please ain't. <laughs> Today, man, we got a new track from Denzel Curry called Sumo. Apparently, a lot of people is telling me it's, from, it's that complete track, you know, that he did at the concert. He had, like, a little snippet at the concert I saw on a retweet about two months ago. And I thought I thought it was pretty cool. The crowd wasn't really hyped. You know, they weren't really hyped. You know, obviously, it's a new track, so the crowd's really not going to know what to do. They don't know how to react. But um, a lot of people saying the track is fire. Look, I'm rooting for Denzel Curry, all right? He's from the hometown. He's from the 305. I believe he's from, like, North Miami somewhere. You know, I'm kind of towards South Miami, you know, Homestead area down there. More south. But yeah, man, I always want to see my, my 305 homies. I always want to see them come up. You definitely want to show hometown love. I think De I think Denzel Curry is like the underrated artist of our era right now. I feel like you go you're always gonna have someone that has to be underrated. Like it, it just it has to be like that. Someone has to be the underdog. Hopefully, you know, he finds himself. Hopefully he doesn't really chase that because I, I see his tweets sometimes. I look at his tweets and I feel like he's just kind of like, you know, he, he knows that he's a very good rapper. Like he knows his talent. But I feel like a lot of people aren't really realizing it. And, you know, he, it's kind of making him frustrated that he's seeing all these other artists blow up that really don't deserve it. You know, like, I'm, I'm not going to say any names out there. I'm not going to knock nobody hustle off. But it really is some some really sketchy ass artists in the hip hop game right now. And when we have artists like Denzel Curry's and, you know, Sylvan LeCues and, you know, artists like that and uh, Nick Grant's. It just, it just makes no sense. Like, we have actually real hip-hop artists out there, and they're just not getting the shine because we're in this mumble rap era. You know, some artists, like like myself, you know, Lupe Fiasco is my one is my favorite artist, rap artist ever, and I feel like Lupe Fiasco is probably the most underrated MC ever to be in hip-hop. Uh, you know, he was in the era of Lil Wayne, and he got overshadowed by that, and people are starting to now realize that Lupe Fiasco is a legend in this game. And it just sucks because now Lupe is kind of like chasing, you know, I feel like he just kind of like tarnished his image by chasing other rappers and, you know, kind of forcing himself onto people. And I hope Denzel doesn't go down the same lane because, like I said, the man is talented. I feel like he should just, you know, know that you have a fan base, know that you have a following, they're supporting you, and keep grinding and releasing music and, you know, your time will come. So we're going to keep it like that, man. Uh, you know, like always, Ben... Fucking talking too much. Let's get right into this, man. We got Denzel Curry. Sumo. Y'all ready? Give <laughs> him time. Might be a Ronnie J. Okay. 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 Alright, so who's got Denzel? Fuck it, too big, they sumo. Tell me who the hottest motherfucker that you know. Ooh. If it ain't me, you a puto. Curry get the play, call a nigga Prince Zuko. Swimming through the minutes, Ooh. 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 What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? If it ain't me, you a puto. Curry get the play, call a nigga Prince Zuko. Ooh, he said Curry get the play, call a nigga Prince Zuko. Y'all know Prince Zuko is? Alright, you know. Fire style, nigga. <laughs> And not fire, not not you know, not Naruto fire style. We talking about Avatar fire style. Let's get it right here, yo. Look, that's the Attitude Era. I know a lot of y'all don't really watch wrestling out there, but look, wrestling used to be life. That shit kind of whack now. You know, they, it's, it's all a meme. I think everything in this world is a meme. But back in the day, Scotty Too Hotty, Grandmaster Sexy, <laughs> Rikishi, you know what I'm saying? Too Cool, you know what I'm saying? That shit, oh my God, the memories, dog. I, I feel you, Dennis. You know, Denzel, I think, you know, he like five years. He might be five years younger than me, come to think about it. I think Denzel, I'm not... I've been giving my age out a little lately, you know. I'm gonna let y'all figure it out. But this, I think he like five years younger than me, so respects to that. That he know who Rikishi is. Money come around like a Hoover. 
Making free bands in the future. Pockets on the nigga look super. Bills on me blue slot cope. Running in my mind just like a tumor. So when they got it, then I call that bitch a rumor. When they kill it, it's like, I'm a CDM. I come back with the bag, I'm a flip. Uh. Money flow like a damn battleship. Uh. Diddy the new. Deal up a new. Hey man, hey he did he hit that Sly Cooper line right there. A lot, a lot, a lot of y'all don't know about Sly Cooper. You know what I'm saying? Carmelita, bro. You know my nigga Sly had Carmelita chasing his ass. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all know about that. That's a little classic time. PS2 days. But um, Denzel Curry, man, I felt like I felt the passion right there. I felt the passion. I felt the aggression. I felt like it was just built up anger that he just finally released for all the haters, for all the people that was really doubting him. I like this track, man. Really in your face, high energy. I think that's what made Denzel Curry, you know, from the get go. We had that ultimate track. Um, I listened to what, what was it called? Planet Shrooms. I listened to that one. I, I thought that was fire after I listened to Imperial. Um, but Imperial, man, like that. When I listened to Imperial, it was nothing but energy. It was high intensity. Just, you know, Denzel, man, like that. In all honesty, I can see why people were really attached to him. He kind of slowed down after that, but I feel like he was just working on his craft. And, you know, maybe if he comes out with something strong to follow up to Imperial, man, I think, look, I think Denzel Curry can make a little noise. You know, Denzel actually watched my um, Imperial video in... <laughs> Uh, my mistake, man, because I fucked up last time. I thought he was this dude that, that y'all told me to listen to with um, with Logic. I think mean, it was like Shy Glizzy or something like that. It was it was somebody that y'all told me to listen to that was missing with Logic, and I thought that was Denzel Curry. I totally apologize for that, but I feel like, man, he just... I hope he just needs to worry about himself and worry about his fan base. You know what I'm saying? Don't really worry about the haters. Don't really worry about um, where you're at right now in hip-hop. I feel like if you eating, you know, you living, your bills is paid... And you know you're passionate about what you do still, then you know everything's gonna come to you with hard work. Just continuously work, man. Like work, work, and work. That's all you can do. That's all you can keep. You know, keep your integrity. Keep who you are. Don't really change up. Don't sell yourself. And I feel like you you gonna make it, man. Because you do have a lot of people watching you. You get millions of views on your YouTube vids. You probably get thousands of streams on your um, on albums on your songs. So, man, you do have a following, and there is people that's backing you up. So, that's all you really need, man. You don't really got to worry about being on top, even though as a rapper, that's what we all strive to be on top, be the best as what you can be. Um, but I feel like, you know, just don't really chase it too hard because you might end up losing yourself. So, we're just going to keep it like that, man. Let me know how y'all feel about Denzel Curry, man. Let me know if y'all like him. Let me know if y'all dislike him. I know I am kind of biased because I am from the 305. So I know I'm going to kind of give him, you know, some, some leeway, but, you know, me being legit, me being 100% honest, man. Look, this song is fire. Shout out to Prince Zuko. <laughs> I definitely love, also, I love, man. I love Denzel Curry, how he always, like, I can relate to him. You know, certain things he talks about, like, he just talked about Rikishi, and, you know, like I said, Attitude Era, and, you know, he threw in Sly Cooper. He also watches anime. So, you know, like, like I said, that's kind of like my mindset. That's kind of like where I relate to, you know, what, he's basically the same person I am. You know, as the older you get, you really don't get any older. You know, it's, it's just a number at that point. So, um, let me know how y'all feel about them. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff been always talking fucking too much and uh yeah man <laughs> till the next time we out Boom.